Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I haven't done a sit down video in a long time. Not gonna lie, I don't even know if these sit down videos are still a thing, if people still enjoy watching them, but this is my only time right now that I can literally sit down and film. So I'm gonna take full advantage. Nico is currently at the car wash, so I've got the apartment all to myself. Let's do this. I haven't gone shopping in a very, very long time. Mostly because all of my money right now it has been going into the house. I think Nico can say the same. We haven't been shopping for ourselves or really going out to the mall and buying stuff. But I don't know why, like the shopping bug kind of bit me and I did a little shopping. As you can see, I thought it would be fun is just sit down and talk to you guys about a bunch of things that I've purchased recently. Oh, sneaky! This isn't a recent purchase. I've already spoken about this before, but I just wanted to give it a shout out because I freaking love this stuff. The Road Lip Peptide. Oh my god. This is the watermelon slice flavor. Tastes like watermelon candy. It is so lovely on the lips. I also really love the salted caramel. That one is always in my bag. It tastes so freaking good. We've literally got, I think, like less than five tubes of these left in our shop. So follow at Shop Sissies on Instagram if you want to get your hands on the Road Lip Peptide because it's really hard to get them online. Road restocks so sporadically and their stocks are always so limited. So we have a few tubes left and I'm probably gonna buy <laughs> one of the salted caramels that we're selling, but I just thought I'd let you guys know at Shop to see it, I will leave it linked in the description box. With that being said, let's get to all the things that I've bought. Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in the cherry flavor. I have been wanting this for almost two months now and I was on the wait list in Rustan's Shangri-La and I asked my personal shopper to please text me when these were gonna go back in stock and spoiler alert, she never did and when I decided to actually go to Rustan's in Shang, it was sold out. Lucky for me though, Leia ended up in the Rustan's in ATC and she called me up and she was like, what the flavor you want again? And she was like, okay, they have stock. And I was like, Leia, I need you to buy that for me right now and I will pay you back. And I'm so happy that she did. So thank you, Leia, for being my source, my personal shopper in a way. I've been a big fan of this lip oil since college. I used to get the original flavor, the honey one. It comes in different flavors and different shades. I've really been wanting to try the cherry one because cherry is one of my favorite flavors. And I love the fact that it's kind of in like this reddish hue. I've got road on my lips, but let's give this a try because I have been dying. I love that the doe foot applicator is gigantic. This is obviously more skincare than it is makeup. Oh my, it literally tastes like cherry candy. This is so yummy. I know these are really big right now because of TikTok. I can vouch for this with or without the fact that it's viral. Like I said, I've been a fan of the lip oils since college. If you've been thinking about actually giving it a try, I suggest you do. It's very moisturizing. It's very comfortable on the lips. It is quite pricey, I will say, but I genuinely think it's worth it. I remember my honey ones would last me a really long time and I'd use it every single day. Day. These retail for 1,600 pesos in Rastans. That's what it looks like on. Absolutely love it. This is going straight in my bag along with my road salted caramel. Next up, I've got a couple of things that I actually purchased yesterday. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that I actually hosted an event yesterday for AIA Philippines and it was in SMX and SM Aura. And I never go to Aura like ever. I only go there for events or if Nico and I are actually in BGC and we need something. Like I'm never there. So every single time I I get to go there, I get so excited to check out the different shops. Granted, the things that I purchased, you can get in other malls. So I don't know why I needed to give that intro. This is also why it's really difficult to host events in malls with Leia because she and I basically just enable each other to shop. It's actually not healthy for our wallets, but we always have a good time. So I like to charge it to mental health care. That's what I'm gonna say. Anyway, we stopped by Healthy Options because we are Titas of Manila and this isn't really exciting, but I thought I'd include it in this shopping haul. I am so old. Yogi Stomach Ease Tea. Listen, I am a big fan of this tea because I tend to overindulge from time to time. I tend to eat a lot of pasta that can sometimes make me bloat. Sometimes I eat a bunch of desserts. You have those days where sometimes you just go ham and your stomach ends up being really bloated and really ouchy and really overstuffed. I love drinking this tea because it really helps me. Like it's warm, it's comforting, it's caffeine free and it actually tastes good. It's got like a sweet touch to it. We combine perfectly sweet yet earthy fennel seed and licorice with a refreshing combination of peppermint and warming herbs, cardamom, coriander, and ginger to help support digestion.
suggestions. It is not a slimming tea, it is not a diet tea, so I really don't believe in those. I think those are really scary, those are very sketchy. I don't believe in those appetite suppressants or poopy teas or whatever, but this is just to calm the stomach and it's actually more of like just a comforting, warm drink that you can have at night. So yeah, really love this. The problem with healthy options, I have to say, is that they're stuff very expensive, right? Like I think we can all agree healthy options is a pretty bougie grocery, but their stuff always looks so good. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick this up for myself. Marriage, I've never heard of this brand. Dark chocolate sea salt caramels. It's a fair trade cocoa with real good, feel good ingredients. Basically, it's one of those bougie chocolates that you can obviously get at healthy options. This little pack was 159 pesos. The tea was 289 pesos for 16 bags. Uniqlo, because I love Uniqlo. Leia and I go crazy at Uniqlo. <laughs> and I ended up getting two things that I'm super excited to wash and wear. Leia and I were talking, we're really trying our best to not support fast fashion. The only stores that we're really going to, I think, still shop at in terms of like fast fashion-y are probably gonna be Uniqlo and Zara just because personally, I have pieces from Zara from like six years ago, seven years ago that are still in really good condition. And I feel like if you're gonna buy something and you know, it's gonna last or you're gonna have it for a long time, then that makes it worth it. So for me, I really love Uniqlo and Zara because the pieces that I have from those two stores seem to last and they wear really well and they wash really well. We spotted these cardigans and you guys know me, I am a cardigan fiend. So I had to pick this up. Leia got the same one as well. Light souffle yarn long sleeve short cardigan. So I have it in gray and it is the softest cardigan ever. It's a little cropped but not too cropped and it's definitely more on the oversized side of things. I got it in a size small. I feel like this is definitely something that I'm gonna have for a really long time. It's part of my wardrobe wish list, which I'll talk about in a little bit. I don't own a gray cardigan. It was 1,490 pesos, so again, not bad. And it's just the softest cardigan. Also, I really loved the buttons on this cardigan. They're kind of like tortoiseshell e, but like in a gray color. It's just a really beautiful cardigan, and it's definitely a classic, and it's a wardrobe staple. On one of the sale racks, they had this dress, which when I saw it, I was like, wow, I don't own anything like that in my wardrobe. And again, it's definitely something that I can see myself wearing for years to come. Navy blue midi dress. It is quite long, actually. It goes, I think, past my knees and maybe half my calf. It's just really beautiful. It's got buttons all the way down so I can adjust it to give myself a slit if I wanted something a little sexier. What sold me on this, aside from the adjustable straps, this dress has pockets, people. And if you know me, actually, you know what? If you are a woman, a dress with pockets, superior. I don't have any navy blue dresses. It's really nice and soft as well and very smooth. It's cool on the skin, which is something that I look for in dresses as well. It's called their button down camisole flare dress. And I got it in a size small and it was reduced to 1,490 pesos. It used to be 1,990. So I got 500 bucks off, which I think is a pretty good steal. I mean, this with a cardigan, so cute, right? This just arrived for me yesterday and I was so excited. I I talk about my friend Jekka quite a lot over on my Instagram and even on this channel. She has a shop called Hello Wilhelmina and she has always been so thoughtful and generous in sending me so many of her beautiful pieces. So when I saw her recent posts about pre-ordering certain clamp clips, I was like, Jekka, I'm going to support your shop. Please order me these two clips. So I'm really excited. I actually haven't opened it yet, so we're gonna open it together. Oh, she included so many freebies, Jekka! I'm gonna show you guys first all of the treats that she gave me. She gave me a baby pink flower clip. She gave me a, like a fuchsia hot pink one and I'm obsessed with it. So she included a little baby pink version. I love these by the way, because they're huge. I've seen people with the smaller version and I already know that's not gonna fit my hair, but Jekka carries the big ones. So, oh my God, this reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls. Ah! Look at this one! It's like a bow, but it's a clamp clip. Jekka's shop, she literally has the nicest pieces. Jekka, you didn't have to give me these. She gave me another one of these. This little hair tie that has pearls on it. Very elegant, very perfect for special occasions. I have to research how to use these kinds of clips because I don't know how to do my hair, but this looks spectacular. All of those freebies aside, like I said, I did order two clips. Blue eye clamp clip. I think Jenny from Blackpink was actually wearing it. And listen, I love 
love Jenny from Blackpink. Look at how beautiful this clip is. It is stunning, my friends. So I just thought this would be a really funky, unique, cool piece to have in my hair accessory collection. I love using clamp clips. And the other clamp clip that I got. I don't even need to explain why I got it, but when Jekka posted that she was accepting pre-orders for these clips, best believe I messaged her right away. Can we take a moment? Kebab doesn't have black spots or a black mask, but it's a freaking French bulldog clamp hair clip. Oh my God. Is this not the cutest clip ever? The best part is Hello Wilhelmina carries, I think the other dog breeds as well, but they do have Frenchies. You best believe I freaked out and was like, Jekka, please get it for me. You know, I want to wear it. I want to wear it like right now. Do you guys see that? Is it showing? I can't tell. Oh my God. Ah, it's so freaking cute. I love it. Check out Hello Wilhelmina. I will leave Jekka's shop linked in the description. Money well spent. So happy. All right, we're getting there, people. I'm almost done. Last two bits. This is from the store Preserve. Trina sent me a reel about this shop, so I messaged them. I ended up purchasing a pair of protectors for me and a pair of protectors for Trina. And these are specifically the glaze finish. The glaze one is textured, more non-slip, and it's better for like like leather sandals. She also gave free scissors, which I thought was really sweet of her. The last thing I have to show you guys in this haul, which is something I've been talking about, is my birthday gift to myself. I never thought I would ever be able to buy myself anything from Hermes, which I know for some people is like, there are vloggers and bloggers who have owned Hermes since they were like 21. Good for them. I have a wardrobe wish list, which is something I learned about from a creator over on TikTok. And it just really makes sense. And it's something that I want to share with you guys as well. Basically a wardrobe wish list is a list of items that you want be a designer or a basic list everything down and then just leave it there come back to it from time to time and it's a great way for you to be able to see if the items on there are really things that you want for the long run or if it's just like a trendy thing that you want now and that's something that I'm trying to do when it comes to my purchases I want to make sure that I'm making smarter more sustainable purchases in terms of my wardrobe because I'm so over just accumulating a bunch of clothes and things. This was on my wardrobe wish list. If I were to buy anything from Hermes, it would be these. On Trina's birthday, we passed by Hermes in Greenbelt and we met up with our SA Jarek. If you are planning a trip to Hermes, look for Jarek. He is incredible. So basically, I just asked him because Trina was buying herself a pair of shoes and I was like, Jarek, do they have the shoes that I said I wanted? Because the few times that I did go, with Trina or Kara to Hermes, I would always ask Jerry, do you have it, do you have it? And he'd say, no, we don't, we don't have the size, there was no shipment, somebody bought it, whatever, whatever. So just for fun, I asked him, hey Jerry, do you have the thing that I want? And he was like, let me check. And he came back with a box, they had it. So of course I had to get it. I did an unboxing for my Instagram reels and I very unsuccessfully tried to tie the ribbon back. All right, let's get into it. This is legit something that I've been wanting for years because I'm obsessed with the Parisian woman aesthetic. A bunch of you guessed it right. For those of you that know me, you know that this is literally me in a sandal. Hermes Orans in the color gold. I know, it's a little weird. I always used to call them brown, but apparently in Hermes, they call them gold. Why? I don't know. It's literally brown. They are so beautiful. And I know this is a Marmite product. I know some people think this is very tita. I know there are some people who think this is an old lady shoe. And some people think that it's overrated and overhyped. But personally, guys, I'm so happy that I actually got them from the Hermes store in green belt. I have them in a size 38. For reference, I'm a US 7.5 in sandals. These fit me perfectly. They are stunning. They smell so good and they are so beautiful on the feet. Not very big on branding, but I do love how classic the design is on the strap. It's such a beautiful shoe. These are my first ever Hermes sandals. I say this now. We're gonna look back at this in a couple of years and see if I've changed my mind, but basically in my wardrobe wish list, I have two pairs of sandals from Hermes that I want. The first are the Orans in gold and the second are the Orans in black. 
I thought, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. Am I gonna be using these all the time? Probably, but expect that in the first couple of months, I'm gonna be really wary and only wear them like to certain places, AKA Rockwell. Oh, pretty. I love them. And there you guys have it, my little shopping haul video. I hope you enjoyed this very old school sit down style video. I haven't done this in a long time and it feels kind of weird to not be like moving the camera around or whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below if you've got shopping recently and what did you buy? I would love to know. You guys know I love to chat it up in the comments. What's your most recent purchase? And I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye!